Sports. I am joined today by Pastor Kim Lyons, and we're going to talk about a special event that is taking place July 14th through the 15th at In Faith Ministries in Lima. It's a women's conference, Embracing God's Glory, Own It. Pastor Kim, I love those last two words, own it. Own it. God has put us on this earth for an important purpose. Yes, and he has. You are creating a great opportunity for all the area women yeah. coming up in just a few weeks. Yeah. I'm so excited about it. July the 14th and 15th, we're going to have an incredible conference. And uh, the mindset for Own It is that God's given us life and he's given it to us abundantly, more abundantly. And it's up to us by faith to grab a hold of it mm -hmm. and to own it, to claim it and to hold on to it. So I'm hoping this conference, the 14th and the 15th, will allow women to step up to another level of faith and possess and grab a hold of everything that God has promised for their lives. Now this is open to women all around this all area mm -hmm. and all over, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, we have people coming from Pennsylvania, West Virginia. I think some are coming from uh, North Carolina. They're coming from all over uh, just to be a part of this conference. It is uh, exciting to think about this happening right here in, in Lima. Lima. Right here in Lima, these ladies don't have to drive yes. very far to go to this. What was, what was the passion? The that passion got you? behind it was to bring women from all denominations to one place and to glorify God and to lift him up. And I'm really desiring that we do more of that, that we come together and just, just worship God in spirit and in truth together, regardless mm. of what church you attend. It's all about Jesus Christ and him being glorified. So that's the whole purpose and the drive for that in Lima. Amen, that's great. We're gonna talk more about that in just a moment. Okay. But first I wanna let you all know at home, we are talking about a women's conference today but you're going to have an opportunity to hear short segments from the three main speakers. And uh, let me tell you, it's not just for women. These individuals have some powerful messages to speak and they will impact you, whether you are a man or a woman. So stick with us for the next 30 minutes for some great inspiration, some encouragement, and a reminder of who God made us to be and how we are yes. to live our everyday lives. But first, let's take a look at some scripture on this uh, special show this week. Psalm 29, three through four and verse 11 says, the voice of the Lord is over the waters. The glory of God thunders. The Lord is over many waters. The voice of the Lord is powerful. The voice of the Lord is full of majesty. The Lord will give strength to his people. The Lord will bless his people with peace. Peace, unity, the powerful voice of God. Yes. Those are all things that I anticipate to be involved in this conference. Oh, yes. And you know, you have to fight for it. You know, mm -hmm. the scripture talks about fight the good fight of faith. You have to fight for your peace. You have mm -hmm. to you have to fight for your joy. And and really the fight is willing to do uh, what God has told you to do and just grab it. We can be happy if we choose to be happy. Uh, we can have peace if we choose to. And so I just love the whole idea that we have all this power of the Lord within us to obtain and all we have to do is trust God and have that faith to believe it. It can be hard on yeah, days when things aren't going well it can. and the family members are breaking down and all kinds of things aren't working out, but yes. yet God is sovereign and is strong. He is. Uh, the other day I had to remind myself so many oppositions was coming up against mm -hmm. me at, with the church. You know, we're pastors and then uh, our daughter was getting married and just all of these kind of things was was happening. And, and I had to encourage myself in the Lord and, and demand peace, that I was mm -hmm. going to stay in the peace zone regardless of what happened, what's going on. And because I chose to do that, God's power was released mm -hmm. in me to be able to walk in that peace. You defeated the devil that day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did real good. Well, <laughs> July 14th and 15th, defeating the devil is just one of the check boxes to happen. And